A small town in a battle with big tech. Main Street in Warrington, drawing a line in the sand, storefronts bearing signs to stop Amazon. Down on the corner, Carla Miller uses their family business's storefront as a billboard to try to end a months-long debate that she says is tearing their town apart. We're losing pride, we're losing value, um, we're losing the community. Northern Virginia is home to the largest footprint of data centers in the world. And tonight, Warrington's town council could vote to allow Amazon to build another one. House after house, yard after yard, signs reading stop Amazon, stop the towers, referring to the additional electricity the data center would require. People who live in the neighborhoods nearby are worried about any potential noise pollution. Also, the location is situated right at the entrance to town near the intersections of Route 15, 29 and 17. Neighbors don't really love the idea of a data center being effectively the new welcome center to town. But this is the plot of land on which Amazon is proposing a 220,000 square foot data center. The site produces no revenue for the town today. Local attorney representing Amazon, John Foote, told the town council that over four years, the data center would generate about $1 million in new tax revenue for the town and about $2 million for the county. The last I heard, the children of Warrington are educated in county schools. That money will, in fact, be useful for the county as well as it will be for the town. Ike Miller questions those projections. You can't unring the bell with noise. You can't unring the bell with how you change the look and character of the town. And unfortunately, this is tearing the town's fabric apart. But in many ways, the people opposing the data center feel this is David versus Goliath. Though this David has won before. Warrington residents fought off a Disney theme park in the 90s. But something feels different this time for Yakir Lebowski, who previously served on the town council. What do you make of the process? Yeah, so the process is in some ways the real the crux of the problem here. He and others feel that hours of opposition during public meetings are falling on the deaf ears of their elected leaders, who tonight are scheduled to make what the town calls the biggest land use vote in its history. Reporting in Warrington, Drew Wilder, News 4. News 4 reached out to Amazon for a comment, but we have not yet heard back.